Howdy, wild things, and welcome to another episode of Ask Howler Wolf. I'm Howler Wolf. Today is World Oceans Day, a day to celebrate, well, oceans, and how they actually affect your everyday life. Oceans help regulate temperature, generate oxygen, and provide a lot of food. I mean, who doesn't like to nibble on fish once in a while, right? I, of course, love salmon because I am a wolf. Anyway, we don't have an ocean here in Rochester, but some of you submitted a really cool question about aquatic life, which was, do jellyfish live in fresh water? When we think about jellyfish, we think of those big tentacle blobby creatures that live in saltwater oceans. But yes, there is a species that lives in fresh water. And yes, you can find it in most bodies of fresh water here in North America. That includes Lake Ontario here by Rochester. What is this jellyfish called? Well, it has a complicated scientific name, but a lot of people just refer to it as the freshwater jellyfish. Now, it has a really complicated scientific name, as shown, but a lot of people just refer to it as the freshwater jellyfish. Now, the freshwater jellyfish is not a native species around here. It accidentally introduced in the 1880s. Yes, they are invasive. They are actually somewhat negatively impacting the ecosystems, and in some places there are efforts to try to remove them. Admittedly, they're really hard to find because they're not that big. I think they're roughly about two inches at the largest. And no, you don't have to worry, they don't sting humans. Speaking of oceans, June 15th is sea turtle day. Sea turtles are vital to the ecosystem. And believe it or not, they're one of the many animals out there that migrate. And my goodness, they cover an awfully long distance. They're endangered in a lot of parts of the world, and there are efforts to help boost their population. A great way to help sea turtles is to keep the beaches clean. Organize litter cleanups. Get rid of all that plastic. Make sure that you clean up any fishing line or fishing nets that you see. And if you are a fisherman, just be mindful of where you put your nets and what may accidentally get caught in them. Sea turtles need to get to the surface to breathe. They don't have gills like fish. So if they get stuck in a net under the water, well, that could be a really bad thing. See? And that about wraps it up for this episode of Ask Howler Wolf. Until next time, stay wild and stay curious. Thank <laughs> you.